Well, the first one I'm going to teach, it's from this book, Accessing the Healing Power of the Vagus Nerve by Stanley Rosenberg. And he uses many different modalities, somatic modalities himself, but he's a, a, an osteopath by trade. And he guides this beautiful exercise. And I use this in most of my sessions, just as a starting off point. So it's good to have a surface that you can lay flat if you're on a bed getting rid of the cushion so you've got a nice flat surface or on the floor. I'm going to demonstrate it sitting up now so it's, it's easier for you to see. So you interlock your fingers together, kind of like if you're reclining back and you pop them at the back of your head. So it doesn't matter where you put your thumbs, you can put them anywhere. I like to put them at this point here because at that point there, I can feel these little muscles right at the base of the skull called the suboccipital muscles. And what they do is they connect the first two vertebrae to the base of the skull. And when they're tight, they slow the blood flow, they can slow the nerve flow. And this can actually make us more agitated, this, this stopping. So we lean against the flat surface and then gently moving your eyes, keeping your head still, to the left. So we're not going all the way to the left. So it's aching. We're just gently moving to the left. And you might notice if your thumbs are in that place that I recommended, you can actually feel the movement of your eyes ever so subtly as it radiates through to the back of your head. And just holding that vision for a little while. And what you might notice here is you might notice that things might be changing in your body. You might notice a settling of your body. You might notice a little burp coming up, or you might notice a rumble in your tummy, or a yawn, or a swallowing, or a deepening of your breath. This is signs that your body's starting to relax. And then moving your eyes back to center, taking a deep breath. Let it go. Oh. And now you're moving your eyes to the other side, to the right. Again, not all the way so it's aching. Just gently holding them to the right side. And holding them there just for a little while. And you might notice some of those similar body symptoms that I mentioned before. And then moving your eyes back to center. And taking another deep breath. And let it go. Ooh. And then letting your arms go. They might be feeling a little tired. <laughs> I'm noticing after I've done that, my eyes are sort of softened. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed. Even though I wasn't leaning against the wall, it's still with that eye movement happening. It's really made me feel a little bit more present. That is wonderful. So simple, but very effective. I also did that one sitting. I thought I could lie down, but you'll probably lose me completely. I might <laughs> <laughs> fall into a deep relaxation on the floor <laughs> and you have to speak to a wall for the rest of the interview. I felt my um my breath becoming a lot deeper. Maybe we don't often realize what the frequency of our breath is until we can mm. take a moment and have a simple exercise like that to go to. So what's the principle behind that with the eyes going a different direction? What are physiologically is going on there? Um, well, what he says in the book and in some of the trainings I've done is that the fascial connections around the eye actually move through and connect with the fascial connections around these muscles at the back of the head. It's all sort of interwoven. So for people that don't, you know what fascia is, it's the in between bits between our muscles, our bones, our nerves, our blood vessels, our organs. It sort of surrounds them and it connects all the parts of the bodies together. It's like seamlessly, it moves all the way through. So, this connection with the eyes is actually helping these muscles relax. It's sort of like an off switch, it's switching it one way, switching it the other. And the nerves that travel down through the neck. One of them is the vagus nerve and the vagus nerve helps to regulate our body. It helps to calm or to upregulate this autonomic part of our nervous system, that, that automatic part of the nervous system that's going into that fight, flight, freeze response. I'm thinking of whether guys could be doing this almost like before they're pumping every day, doing their rehabilitation. Yes. Well, yeah, when would you recommend a good, a good time to, to go to that one? Oh, I do it periodically throughout the day. So before they're pumping, definitely before they're going to do some kind of sexual activity. And it's just so quick. You can just sneak off to another room and do it. No one has to see you do it. 
and you don't have to do it for long. So you're, you're doing it between 30 seconds to a minute for each eye. So in a minute, you could have this done and dusted. I do it before I go to sleep. I do it before going into a meeting that I'm feeling a bit nervous about. And it's wonderful to do before having sex. It is really wonderful because we're bringing that regulation down. If you can get your partner to do it with you as well, you're sort of meeting there in the middle. 